this is my review for Amazing Spider-Man 660. Uh, yes, 660. Uh, the cover is really nice. I wish I did the cover work. It was actually the interior artist. Stefano Caselli and Lorenzo De Felici. Uh, oh well. Actually, Stefano Caselli did do the last part of this issue, which is the Carly Cooper and P. Parker part. So yeah. Uh, anyway, this is written by Dan Slott again, and the art, the first part, the first 17 pages actually is Mike McCone, and like I said, the last three pages or so is. Stefano Caselli. Uh, where this issue picks up, it is right at the end of last issue, where the FF is up against the Sinister Six, and <laughs> that's really it. They're up against the Sinister Six. Um, however, after their victory of sorts, all the, the, the FF's powers are changing for some reason and you find out it's because of uh, Dr. Octopus's machine that he had in that cave it's, it's, it's really hard to explain you really have to read it to but just the gist is that the machine is causing their powers to change for example Sue now has Johnny Storm's power and then uh, at one point Reed gets Thing's power and yeah, it's crazy like that. Um, so yeah, I think Dan Slott definitely has Peter Parker down pat, it just perfectly. Um, I really didn't have any complaints on the series until the Fantastic, I mean the the Future Foundation thing started happening. Uh, yeah, the, ever since that issue where Peter Parker goes to visit the remaining members of the Fantastic Four before joining. They just haven't been that great for me. Uh, he has the FF written a certain way here, which I think is completely different than what Jonathan Hickman has uh, set down in his book. And I, I just find it less interesting and less fun to read in this title. Uh, I just want Spidey back in his own book at least for a while um, so yeah in, in here Spider-Man he lets the villain escape after capturing them because he has to he saves the children uh, from imminent danger and there's one scene where everyone's like congratulating him telling him he's part of the family and <laughs> he's like he's not used to it and he even says that he even tells him to stop because he's and it just feels weird for him and I don't know that's exactly how I felt I, I felt like it, it went on for the whole page and I just thought it was a little too much I don't know it just felt too cheesy for me um but yeah and I wasn't too crazy about the art in this in this part of the, the FF section of this book it, it just seemed like some of the panels are too flat for example this one it, I don't know it's just I don't know and then uh, some proportions are really off at least for me I mean just look at Reed I know he's in the background but it, it, it and yeah, I don't know. It, the art wasn't just right for me. Um, however, uh, the last three pages or so uh, deal with Carly Cooper and Peter Parker. And she confronts him about him not being at his job when he said he was going to be there. And she went to visit. And yeah. That's my favorite part of the issue. I really like um, Carly, and I love their relationship. And uh, that's definitely one of the, uh, aside from you know, 
all the other great stuff Dan Slott has written in this uh, title. That This is really one of my favorite uh, parts to what he's telling in the story. Um, so yeah, I like their relationship. And last issue, we got Carly who went out with her friends. She got drunk and she was going to get a tattoo of a green goblin symbol. And here we find out exactly what she got tattooed. Uh, let me just say it's not exactly what you think it'll be. And she says, because of that tattoo, it might be a little awkward for her and Peter. I, I, I don't know, I just thought it was a, a little funny, especially since it was played out to be really dramatic. Uh, it, just, it just made me smile. And uh, yeah. Uh, again, I like the art for this. This three pages a lot more than the last 17, and yeah. And then after that we get in this infested part two, little backup, where it's gonna lead to Spider Island, and then we get the Spider-Man Ghost Rider, which I just I skipped over because I'm not interested in Ghost Rider. So yeah, overall this this was an all right issue. It wasn't great. When I say pick it up, sure, why not? It's not terrible either. Um, but yeah, things seem to be building up towards uh, a spider island. And I'm actually excited for that. So um, give it a try. Again, you're not going to be blown away by this issue, but uh, it, it was alright. Uh, three and a half stars out of five. So yeah, Dan Slott, McCone, and Caselli. And uh, that's all I have to say about Amazing Spider-Man. And uh, yeah, just just let me know what you thought about this issue. And yeah, that, that's that's it for this video.